Hey everybody, thank you for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at the Big Bear RDTA from EH Pro. You can find EH Pro on the web at www.seehpro.com. You can also find them on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll leave all their links down below. Angela over there contacted me and asked me if I would uh, review this. She sent it a little while ago and I apologize, Angela, for getting it out late. Um, just things happened. But anyways, this RDA, RDTA is the first of its kind where you can run two different types of juices without blending the having the problem of the juices blending together it's got a split tank onto it which we'll go over when we get down close but you can put one juice on one side and one juice on the other and you'll be able to uh, have two different flavors so you can expand a little bit onto it um, it's also has a, the big I want to say it's a velocity style deck but it's really not but we'll look at that when we go down below um, it's just it's really really and it's 25 millimeters so on your bigger devices it's going to look really really sweet i have it here on my x taste uh 250 i mean it's just a nice matchy matchy all the way through definitely onto that so why don't we just get up close and personal and uh we'll dive down low all right so here we are down below here and this is the way it comes into here Right away it tells you that it's a sample uh, eh pro big bear just like it says here uh, this side it just has their website nothing here there's the eh pro insignia nothing here on the back it gives you your caution keep out of reach of children and animals and this lighting is just terrible in here not to be sold or used by persons under the legal age not to be used by pregnant or breastfeeding women here it tells you what model it is and then down here it tells you that it's the big bear that's the scratch and check for it and then this is the red model here this does come into uh, four different colors you got a red a black a white and a stainless steel cover so let's open it up here put that to the side and right away you got your big bear user manual and just gives you little highlights of what everything is Tells you what each part is by this number here. And then a breakdown for the coil, how to install, how to install the coil, which we'll go over. How to refill the juice. And then how to vape with a single coil, which we'll also go over onto that as well also. So that's that. So now let's get down to the nitty gritty. Um, first thing you get, this is the red one as you can see here. This is your tank onto it here. Let's take it out of the bag. And it says Big Bear here. And then here it shows that it's the Big Bear logo. I like the color scheme onto it with the red and black. Looks really, really good. And if you look there, you can see it's got two different tanks. Let's see. see that line right there in the middle? This tank here is the first type of RDTA that you can put two different parts of two different juices into the tank without mixing the flavor, which we'll go over onto that. So overall onto this here, the body onto it is made of stainless steel and it is a high temperature glass. Um, I'm, wondering, I'm not sure if it's a silicone or a uh, Pyrex, but it's a high temperature glass. Um, it's 25 millimeters across this way here. It is 53 millimeters from the bottom of the, the tank to the drip tip, not including, not including uh, the 510, 53.5 millimeters. Um, it is a gold plated brass uh, positive pin onto it. Uh, the material that is, that is surrounded is a, the peak insulation. As you can see it has your side airflow onto it and it is side fill as well for each tank um, each tank does hold two milliliters of juice into it as well and when we go over the deck onto it you uh, will go over how you can make this into a single or a dual coil so let's put that to the side and then we'll break that down but let's see what else we get into the kit here you get another replacement glass then you get a bag of goodies here dump this out all right got lots of different o-rings 
which when we break the tank down you'll see where they all go and even the special one that's onto there which we'll go over when we break the tank down you got a couple replacement grub screws got some nice looking uh, alien coils pre-built for it nice then they also give you some straight round canthal looks like about maybe uh, 26 gauge then they give you this little blocker which we'll go over for what that's for for when you make this into a single or a dual and then they give you the little tool to build everything together so let's put everything out of the way here and let's go back to the tank and break that down and then we'll throw build into it so let's put this to the side so here's all your components onto it the drip tip it is not a standard 510 uh, I know when you look at this here it looks gonna be looks very similar to like the iJoy uh, limitless tank but and it, there is some similarities to it but a lot of things look like a lot of other things nowadays so anyways there's your trip drip tip and it is not standard 510 but it is very comfortable in your mouth and it is a nice bore all the way through which is very cool your top section for your airflow it is only for dual but even if you're only using one it'll still you're still going to be able to you're still going to have to have two so i would recommend you just turning that because what you have on this side is going to be the same thing onto this side but we'll get back to that and then again here's your cover your outer ring and then here's your deck um it's a little bit different than a lot of other a velocity deck would be all scalloped out this one has a full piece onto it and let me see if i can get the camera here to focus in onto this but you have this is your positive and this would be your negative side here and like i said on most velocity decks this is all gone all together and you only have the two posts but what's here is because this being one tank and the other tank what this has is when you have your coil here when your airflow is coming up through when you're drawing up through it's going to hit this and you can see how it's skived out here same thing on this side it's going to have it so your two flavors will come up and join together on your vapor but not the juice flow itself because it can only go so far and it'll run back down if there is any if you're drawing that hard um, and then you would put your coils in through the side you have your top and side same thing so we'll go over that now to break this apart here after you take that off unscrew your upper ring and then this will slide off from here and here's those o-rings that we were talking about make sure you don't lose those make sure that they're seated properly so your tank don't leak and then here's the other tank and we're going to go over that in a minute and now when you look at this here you see how you got this rubber gasket that runs all the way through so when your tank is slid down you got your o-ring here that's that one that I showed you if there were, you had to take this apart that would catch and it wraps around here then it has the hole for your o, uh, for your 510 for the screw to come up through so they give you that replacement and then you have this and that's this replacement so it would be like that and that seals off from here so when you put your glass on you can feel the friction already make sure you get that seated in so now you're seated you could put juice onto this side of one flavor juice onto this side on the other and it's not going to leach through pretty pretty cool onto it so um why don't we get set up here and we'll throw a build on i'll show you what it looks like with the the single coil blocker on there so when you're using the single blocker the single coil blocker for whatever side that you're using it literally will show you here so this is what it'll look like with the blocker onto it 
and then there's your the coil I put one of theirs in that they the Clapton's that they sent over I'll straighten these up when I go to refire them but just needs a little bit of tweak onto it anyways so, so that's why I was fun to show you what it looked like with the blocker onto it so that way there like I said you're blocking off the one side so let me throw the other coil in and then uh, we'll talk about the cotton firing off nice together so that's what it would look like and some nice pretty blues in there oh yeah All right, let's grab some cotton here we're gonna use some uh, some of this cool wick and it's I've used it before Rom this is this is what it looks like here. It comes in a nice, like a rope style. I got a review coming up onto it. I got a couple different cottons I want to try. But it's all the strands go in one direction. If you look at that when you go to separate it. All right, so this is the cotton we're going to use here. Let's throw some cotton into this thing here. And uh, hang on. Okay, as you can see here, we got the cotton into there. And we want this to lay down. We don't want it to go in all the way into that channel. So what we want to do is we want to cut this to almost even with that glass line. You want maybe just a little bit more onto each side. So let's throw a snip onto there. So what you want to do here is you want to see this channel here. You want to be able to have that lay down right about that height right there. Yeah, I guess I might be able to. There we go. So let's throw some juice onto here, and then uh, we're actually going to use two different juices here. We're going to use Strawberry Submission on one side, and we're going to use Vapor Lick Berry Blender on the other. And you can see the two contrasting colors. So let's throw uh, the Strawberry Submission onto this side here. So let's, it's always good just to throw some. I'm going to get the other side before I fire it off too much. So this um, berry blender is a strawberry and banana float and fix that afterward. But then you just bring this over. Can only go on one, one way. Cause it's got, see this for these grooves? It's got to go into these grooves here. So once you do that, as you can see, you're in your channels. And once you feel secure about that, then you put your locking ring on. All right. So, strawberry submission on this side. We're going to put berry blend onto that side. So, let's fill it up here. Side fill. And don't squirt it like I just did because I overfilled it on that side. But that's all right. That's what vapor towels are for. That's a whoops. All right. And then on this side, we're going to fill it to with the berry blender. some more of the strawberry submission onto that side because it didn't really put more in because I over squirted it and make sure you get it into the hole because you'll just I just do what I just did there and it hits that right where that center is there and then you take your cover slide that over so now your openings are right over each of your air flows 
You take your airflow here for that the same thing. Pop that on. Pop that on. Wipe that off because I made a mistake. But as you can see, you got the two different colors for two different flavors. Let's take a rip on it. Meet me up top. All right, so welcome back up on top. Today we took a look at the Big Bear uh, RDTA from EH Pro. Thank you, Angela, for sending this over. You can find all their information down below for their Facebook, their Instagram, and their website. Um, I don't have the price onto it. I couldn't find it. I mean, even Alibaba, but whatever. Um, I think it's very, very cool. The two flavors I picked maybe they weren't the best, you know, best two with the strawberry banana and the strawberry lemonade. That. Um, I just wanted to give you guys, you know, like I said, but it's still pretty cool that you can have the two different flavors, you know, you can use your imagination more. And it's really cool because it doesn't, they're not going to bleed together. So you're, they're, I mean, it, it, it can't. <laughs> so I like that. Um, I think it looks pretty good on the X Taste also. I mean, pretty matchy matchy with the black and the red like that. It looks pretty freaking good. Um, like I said, the flavor choice, I could have probably grabbed something different. I just grabbed two of them real quick and it's vapable. So check it out. Nice. And that ohmed out to with their coils point two two five and it's not gonna register. Sorry, it's not gonna register, but it's point two two five. I'm running that at a hundred watts. And like I said, you get it's nice that you can you know, you're, you're able to expand a little bit. You know what I mean? So it just makes it a little bit more fun. I think it's really good. The flavor onto it is phenomenal. Um, I like a lot of the positives. I mean, I really can't find anything negative, really. Um, I mean, I like the way you can make it a single coil. You have the blocker for that. Um, maybe if you would change the top cap also to make it also a single. So if you only have the one coil, you're not drawing in on both sides. That's about the only negative I could probably find. Well, the 510, uh, the drip tip also, I would like to see it make it a 510. Something that you can, more universal, so you can get your own drip tip to even, you know, customize a little bit more for you. Um, but overall, I would definitely recommend this tank. This is really, really, a real, real cool tank. And like I said, it gives you the red, the white, the black, and the stainless steel. So you got a good assortment for different mods that you have out there. Definitely to check it out. EH Pro, www szehpro.com the links will be down below that's going to do it for tonight folks so until the next time keep vaping